What's up everyone? It's Spooky here and today we are going to do yet another review. However, this time it is not a flavor. It is the G Fuel slushy maker that came out just a while ago. Now, uh, this got sold out so fast. Like, one of my friends wanted to buy one at the end of the day and it was already sold out. So, I bought one of these and it ended up being pierced. There were holes in it and I never used it so I don't know what was up with that but then I got sent another one and it was fine I looked inside and there are no holes so let's pray it's gonna work I haven't tried it yet so this is the box for it it's just a little lemon at the front and it is a slushy maker obviously perfect for summer so if we look at the back here it comes with a little dome lid to put on top and then it comes with the slushy maker itself obviously and then there's also this little like straw spoon hybrid it's actually really nice because it's like an attachment I will show you in just a second but it's really nice because if you just want to slurp it up with your straw you can and if you want to eat it with your spoon you also can so it's pretty awesome you can put any liquid in here as long as it's chilled it has to be chilled it cannot be like something room temperature or hot liquid or something if you do that it will not work as well so it has to be chilled but yeah you can put just about any liquid in here but today we are going to try uh some g fuel in here so today we are going to make a hibiscus tea slushy and i'm super hyped about that i was kind of torn between that and blue bomber slushy and also snow cone but i think that I don't know. This is just gonna be bomb as a slushy. So I'm gonna bring you with me. We are gonna go get my slushy maker and we're gonna test it out together. All right, let's go. So welcome to my basement. Now we are gonna grab this. I didn't put the lid on just because I was scared it was gonna uh, freeze and I wouldn't be able to twist it off. So this is what it looks like. I froze it for about 24 hours. I think it works best and you're gonna have optimal results. If I hold it in my hands right now, I can see because how it works is there's some like a saline solution inside these little pouches here and they freeze. So when you put your really cold liquid in here and you squeeze it like this, then it turns to ice. But you have to wait until these pouches are all frozen. So that's what it feels like in my hands right now. Also, it comes with this. Like I said, it's like a little like straw spoon hybrid. The cool thing about this is that you can detach it as you please and you can put it back on. So really awesome. Practical, actually. I love this. I have my 16 ounce shaker in the Pac-Man shaker. It looks so cool. <laughs> Still one of my favorites. I have some water and ice in here. I'm just going to make a regular shaker of G Fuel like we would normally do. So let me put one full scoop of hibiscus tea in our shaker oh that kind of splashed a little bit everywhere oops all right and remember you guys this has to be chilled okay so like you can either make your g fuel put it in your fridge so that it gets really really cold or you can put some ice in here just because if you don't have it cold it's not gonna work as well Shake it, shake it, shake it. Also, I will probably do like a two-in-one review of hibiscus tea as well. For people wondering, no, it is not real tea. It's actually called Agua de Jamaica, and it's just basically like hibiscus flowers steeped in hot water with some sugar. So it's not tea per se. I would say it's more like an herbal tea, but even then herbal tea doesn't have any caffeine in it, so it can't really be qualified as like real tea. So this is not tea you guys like it does not have a tea flavor however i think you can get some actual hibiscus tea out there but this is not tea this is just water and flowers and sugar so you don't want to overfill it because the pouches don't reach so don't go any further than the pouches okay so let's drop it in here yes make sure there's no ice dropping in all right, so we're just gonna do it about here. So we are gonna pop our lid on. This is so cute, I love it. And what we're gonna do now is just squeeze. Just squeeze the little pouches and we wait. I can already tell that the ice is forming. Also, you don't wanna do it too much. Don't do it too much, just do it until it's at your liking. It seems to be working fairly, fairly well. Now you can do it until it's, like I said, at your liking, but I don't want it too liquidy, so. See what it does look at the consistency all right so this is what it looks like when we're done 
It's literally just a nice slushy. There's still some liquid in here, but I think it's needed. If it's just ice, then it's just gonna be hard to drink. So I think there should be a little liquid left. So we're gonna use our spoon. <laughs> Me and my intrusive thoughts just thinks that this looks like a crystal. Oops. All right, take two hibiscus tea slushy. Let's go. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's good. Really good. Um. The texture is not like your typical slushy. I would say it's a little bit more watery. Like, you know, you know, in the winter when you grab some snow and it's like still watery, it has that consistency. Let's see if we can like slurp it up. I'm gonna put my straw in here. Mmm. Okay, never mind what I said. It's actually drinkable. It's just slushies are typically more liquidy and smooth. This is a little bit more sticky and it tends to like all stick together and like form like a blob of ice. Mm. It's still drinkable as long as you leave some liquid in here. And just make sure to not squeeze it too much like I said because then it will become hard to drink because it will clump up together. Hibiscus tea, so good. The flavor is really unique. Probably the most unique G Fuel flavor I have ever tried in my life, if I'm being honest. Very sweet, very floral. I think this is such a great flavor for hot summer days. Amazing in a slushy form, honestly. Also, I just wanted to say that I made a video not too long ago using Hibiscus Tea G Fuel and mixing it with actual green tea. So I will link my video down below uh, in the description for those who want to see it. But yeah, if I were to rate Hibiscus Tea, super refreshing, super sweet, super floral. I love it. There's really nothing like it, to be honest. I think it's one of the best G Fuel flavors to date. I would probably have to rate it a 10 out of 10. Really, really amazing flavor. In slushy form, it's good too. I mean, if you like slushies, you really are going to enjoy this. It's just you have to be careful not to squeeze it too much because then it becomes like really icy and clumpy and it's hard to drink. So just remember that. This is what happens when you squeeze it too much. It just becomes solid. Just remember that once it is uh, defrosted, you're going to have to put it back in the freezer. For the slushy maker, I will probably give this a 10 out of 10 as well. I mean, it does what it says it does and it's it's a cool little contraption. Like, it really is. And you can really like reuse it as long as you want, which is cool. As long as you don't like damage it and you don't pierce the little pouches because then the saline solution is gonna come out and it's really nasty, you guys. Yeah, don't, <laughs> just be careful not to use like a knife and be careful not to jab it too much with your straw just to make sure that you don't pierce them by accident. Also, this G Fuel uh, slushy maker is sold out. However, hibiscus tea is still available on the site if you want to try it out and also use it in slushy form if you have a slushy maker. But if you do cop it, remember that you can use code SPOOKY with three O's at checkout to get a discount up to 30% on your purchase. And also, if you do end up using my code, please feel free to tag me on Twitter because I love to give you love and to express how thankful I am for all of you. So. I'm going to go eat the rest of my slushy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys are having a spooky, spooky day or night to wherever you're from in the best way possible. And I will see you in the next video.